Scarring is a big problem when it comes to top surgery. The chest is not a very forgiving part of the body, unlike, let's say, for example, the face. So let's talk about the different types of scars we can get because there's a lot of or confusion, I should say, in the lay community between hypertrophic scars and keloid scars. And oftentimes I hear the hypertrophic scars being called keloids. So first of all, hypertrophic scars are those raised, ropey, usually bright red scars we get. And what's generally just considered to be a bad scar. Keloid scars are different, however, because typically they're a little bit worse than hypertrophic scars, or it can be a lot worse than hypertrophic scars, as they tend to grow outside the borders of the original wound. And unfortunately, keloids in folks who are very prone can happen from minor little scratches, and there's a huge genetic component to keloids, and we see them much more commonly in people of color. What we understand, however, from the literature now is they seem to be on a spectrum, a continuum. What research shows us now that whatever process is calling, causing hypertrophic scars, a similar process is causing keloid scars, and keloid scars are a lot more serious. Keloids tend not to resolve on their own, whereas hypertrophic scars will get better in time. Their treatments are very similar. However, typically with keloids, we'll be a little bit more aggressive and use adjuvant treatments such as radiation in order to help with them. Typically, the treatment um, are probably the best treatment treatment we have for keloid scars is to excise them, remove them surgically and um, treat the patient with a very short course of radiation in order to prevent them from coming back and kill some of that inflammation, which is abnormal, which is causing this bad scarring. So the vast majority of my patients, um, when we talk about the scars, they're going to be hypertrophic scars rather than keloid scars, thankfully, but they're on a spectrum.